In this video we're going to look at the options for tidying up your accounts desktop. We're going to start with the navigation bar down the left. If there are any options that you don't use, for example the diary at the bottom of the list there, you can just right click anywhere on that navigation bar. A list appears showing you the ledgers that you have access to and you'll see they're all ticked meaning that they're all displayed. If there's any options you don't use, just deselect them. So if we deselect the diary, the option is now hidden and no longer appears on the navigation bar. Let's do another one. Let's pick on quotations. So right click anywhere on the navigation bar, click quotations, and again the option disappears from the navigation bar. Let's do one final one so we'll pick on fixed assets. So right clicking the navigation bar and then from the list deselecting fixed assets. The options are still available to us, so if we do need to get them back, we can just right click. Then we can either enable the option, or if we want to reset the navigation bar back to the defaults, just at the bottom of the menu, you click use defaults. And we're now back to where we started. Next, we're going to look at the toolbar options within the ledgers. If we access one of the ledgers, so in this case customers, and using a similar technique to the navigation bar, if there's any options on the toolbar along the top that we don't need access to, we can just right click on the toolbar and then clear the option that we don't need access to, for instance, disputes. Potentially there's going to be quite a few options that you may not use, so if you want to declutter your toolbar, it's the same process, just right click and then click on the option that you want to remove. You can only select or deselect one option at a time, but as you can see it's a really simple process. Simply right clicking and then choosing the option to show or hide it. This option is available throughout the software. Similar to the navigation bar, if you ever want to reset it, just right click your toolbar. You can then select options to enable them. Or alternatively, if you scroll right to the bottom of the list, you can click Use Defaults and it then resets your toolbar so you have all of the options visible again. The final option we're going to look at is Showing and Hiding Columns and again it's a similar process. If we stay in the Customer Ledger, we can right click any of the column headings, the list appears and as you can see, for customers, there's a lot of columns on the list that aren't displayed by default. So for instance, we might want to enable the Terms of Agreed column. It really is that simple. There may be columns that we want to hide. So again, we just right click any of the column headings. And we'll deselect the Inactive column. Similar to the other options we've looked at so far, if you right click and scroll to the bottom of the list, you can click Use Defaults and the columns revert back to the original list. If you're on CH50 Cloud Accounts Standard or CH50 Cloud Accounts Professional, then a great tip is within the Chase Debt View. In the Chase Debt View, as you can see, there are other columns already available. So for instance, when you're looking at your customer list, by default, you can see if anything is overdue. We'll quickly get rid of some of the columns from the right hand side. So again, similar technique, just right clicking the column headings and then choosing the columns that we want to hide. We'll quickly do the others. Now that we've removed some columns, we're now going to enable some. Now, Chase Debt is often used by those of you that work in Credit Control. And a common report to use for Credit Control is an age debtors report, showing you what's outstanding and how long it's being outstanding for. Now, we can almost replicate that report without having to run it, just by enabling some columns. So to do that, we just right click the column headings, and then we can start enabling the age debtor report columns. So aged current and then just repeat the process. 
the name of your options may be different to mine. It really just depends on what you've got your aging period set to. But it's just a case of enabling your columns. So in this case, aged 7 days, aged 14 days, aged 21 days, and finally, aged older. We've now got the equivalent columns from an age data report without even having to run the report. We just simply switch into the chase debt view. That brings us to the end of this quick video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did or would like to leave any feedback, simply click yes at the bottom of the page.